brother, Christian Matson, a diocesan hermit located in eastern Kentucky, came out as transgender on Sunday, May 19th, after years of discernment. I decided I wanted to speak on a day that had something to do with the liturgical calendar, um, and I settled on Pentecost both because it's the anniversary of my baptism, but because it's associated with the Spirit being sent on the church to go out and preach the gospel throughout the world, and that's kind of what I was doing. I was kind of going out, uh, coming out, and, and preaching the gospel in that way. Brother Matson transitioned nearly 20 years ago, and since then has been what is called stealth, meaning he only disclosed his identity to medical professionals, spiritual leaders, and close friends. You have to acknowledge the fact that somehow God has spoken to us and given us faith, and look at the fruits of that faith in our lives, and realize, oh, you know, we might think these people are wrong and sick, but they're actually serving God and living holy, healthy lives. Appalachian Wireless Forward Pay. No credit check, no contract, and most features are postpaid. Right now, take advantage of $75 off select Forward Pay devices and ask about our awesome plans. Forward Pay, because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. As government laws and church doctrine were passed condemning trans individuals and their health care, Brother Mattinson felt now was the best time to come out, not only for himself, but for other transgender men, women, and children who feel the church has turned their back on them. And so I was getting increasingly frustrated by these, um, by these laws and these policies. So I said to my bishop, at some point I'm going to have to speak because nobody is saying what I think needs to be said, which is that you can be both Orthodox Catholic and be transgender. That this is something completely different from gender ideology. Many have spoken out in support of Brother Matson, commending his bravery and sharing their own stories of how the church has turned them away. However, many have voiced their concerns about his status in the church. The, the thing that's been, I think, most important is that I've been getting emails from trans people around the world who have said, I never felt like I could have a relationship with God or the church. My church didn't support me. My family didn't support me. Um, you know, I was told that I was disobeying God, and so I, I didn't think I could have a relationship with God. And they're saying, just seeing the fact that the church has welcomed you um, and that you have a place in the church and that you're open about your faith gives me hope that I might be able to have a relationship with God or the church again. And that's exactly who this announcement was for, to give those people hope. Brother Matson hopes that those who have received his coming out poorly will understand that transgender individuals are part of the church and seek to follow Christ just like anyone else. The Catholic Diocese of Lexington released a statement in support of Brother Matson on Tuesday, May 21st. For Mountaintop News, I'm Kelsey Fidel.